X. I only care about the you know the kids. I only care about bro. Aiden Ross has single handedly caused permanent damage to an entire f generation of children. The fact that he's over here talking about like the fact that he's over here talking about like oh I care about kids is insane to me. Did you see actually debating Aiden on transgender stuff? Why would I know that? Why would I even what XQC debating Aiden on? trans related issues like that sounds that sounds like the absolute mathematically dumbest conversation that will take back trans rights harder than matt walsh okay xqc was based i mean i hope please please trans chatters need this brain rot no you don't need this you definitely don't xc and aiden debating trans issues sounds like they're somehow both on the wrong side but still disagreeing xqc defends the trans side of the argument surprisingly no. what is this lineup bro xqc versus aiden with dj academics and train wrecks what is happening here did he do the worm it's insane i only care You're about nuts. kids bro leave the kids uh, he left i only care about leaving the kids out of it bro i just got mad about the target and i get mad about you know tr like having puberty blockers for kids that's all that's all i get mad that about. doesn't happen though it's it's yeah, like x it, it does it does some parents allow i said it. Yeah, i said it give me statistics I said, huh? give me examples, give me I'll articles. You, you have given you me what. nothing. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, because I'm not informed, I don't really spend all my time doing this. Bro, 100%, 100%, I stand on this. Aiden Ross is literally, directly, infinitely worse for an entire generation of Americans than, like, if we were blasting literal, like, trans characters in every single TV show, okay? like. One, because obviously there's no issue with trans characters and TV shows in general. But two, Aiden Ross literally is worse. Like physically, spiritually, psychologically, so much worse for the children. I just, I, it, what? What? What is going on here? Like, do people think children are just like taking gender pills or gender confirmation doing gender confirmation surgery no that's not happening you know what is happening though aiden ross is converting them to be little freaks okay little sociopaths they're running around being like on god for real big dog you're a real piece of shit. i'm gonna i'm gonna be a bad person that's what they're doing they're running around being like yeah yeah we should gay people on god for real that's a real w dog i love not dog on god for real for real that's what they're doing, little broccoli-haired Zoomers running around, dudes with Edgar Cuz running around, blasting Travis Scott, talking about how, hey, two genders on God, bro. This man's <laughs> man had a segment trying to get his fan base of little broccoli-headed Zoomers to do hate crimes, bro. He would literally have a fan base where he's like, yeah, I'll give you a... He had a segment where he was like, I'll give you $50 if you, like, go stab your brother or whatever he used to do. I remember because his brother... There was a dude who was a fan of his. It was like, yeah, my gay ass brother loves Hassan. I'm going to kill him now. You literally educated XQ about this last year. Take some credit. No, I didn't, dude. Uh, I mean, X, she's a, I'm glad to hear that he's still like, I'm glad to hear that uh, XUC is still like uh, intellectually curious about stuff like this. That makes me happy. I haven't like uh, talked to him in a while. I have no idea what he's up to. I, I don't really care to know. I don't really know, but it, it makes me happy that he's like still, uh, He's still interested in this sort of stuff, I guess, to a certain degree. And Just give me one. I, I'll find some. If I really take time to Google it, I can. I saw a number saying 17,000, but I want This is such a f stupid thing to say, too. It's like, you have this firmly held conviction, right? And you don't even know. Like, imagine having this firmly held conviction. And, like, XQC's like, okay, so give me a f piece of statistics. He's like, well, I can Google it. It's like, what do you mean? Maybe you should have googled it beforehand how do you arrive at, at like this level of anger that you feel this level of frustration that you feel in your heart deep down inside about something you don't know anything about i want to look into before i really use it as evidence so you're but pushing here, a narrative with absolutely nothing no backing no knowledge no statistics can, and no, no examples no, no, but he's right he's right aiden ross got had his shit pushed in by a dude who didn't even have to pull out the worm. Respect the XQC on XQC, this. XQC, you don't think there's ever been a minor that's taken puberty blockers. It's, it's a Okay, no, it's, and you were mad about the tattoos earlier. And how many minors get, get tattoos? I don't agree with that, though. I don't. I think minors okay. should... 
Oh my god. Shut up. Shut up. No, you don't have any issue with that. You're it's such bullshit. Okay? It's such bullshit. Damn, respect to the producer, dude. That's crazy. Fish not drink it. Anytime a tattoo. Well, I, are people so mad about shit they don't even know about? Bro, what do you mean? That's literally just conservatism. You just described reactionary thinking. That's literally what the right wing does, bro. That's all they do. Like, sure, the left gets hysterical, okay? And they get very mad and they get very angry and they kind of look cringe sometimes. That's definitely true, okay? Sometimes the left might even go a little overboard on issues and like cast you out and consider you to be an, uh, a rival even if you are an ally. But at least they f are, one, on the right side of the issues and two, are a little bit more knowledgeable about the things that they're mad about. What do I mean by this? This doesn't mean that there aren't leftists who aren't dumbasses. Of course there are, right? But like, at least they know what the problem is to get mad about it. Right-wingers will just make up problems in their own minds. They literally invent shit to be mad at. That's it. Half of the right-wing issues are, I saw something on television and the television man told me that like, Bud Light is doing beer that makes you trans. Bud Light is making beer that makes you trans. Remember, that's why I had that conversation with XCZ where I was like, they got one can? Because it was one can of beer. That's it. One can of beer had Dylan Mulvaney's face on it. And that was it for the Republicans. They were like, they are trying to transify our youth. I will not drink Bud Light. I'm shooting it. One can. Like, that's, that's what motivates these motherfuckers. I don't know what going on they're just angry and scared okay it's so crazy literally your partner dreaming you were mad at them and not talking to you because of it yeah exactly the entire conservative movement just brought to heel with one can of piss beer bro that's it that's why it's just like sometimes it gets really i mean that's why it's really fun to look at and parse through a lot of these angers a lot of these like uh a lot of this resentment i love that shit for that reason that's why right wingers are so entertaining but that's also why it's like kind of hard to argue sometimes against the dude who's just like, no, I'm stupid. No, I'm scared. Fuck you. And also I'm going to keep being scared no matter what you tell me. I'll have Betelgeuse pay you $50 if you skip the Aiden XQC debate. No. Hey, hey, XQC, I would counter that though by saying, so if it's so insignificant in this problem, <clears throat> why does it seem like there's so much, there's so much attention and so much like, you know, um, care with that community when it's just like for example put it like this uh think about anything in the world if, if, if something was like 0.5 percent or one percent of what was going on they're right here they're talking about trans issues xuc's hitting the age-old hassan line being like people only care about this because they're made to care about it it's not that significant altogether and the only reason why the only reason why people are talking about it is because they just like need something to yell about. Yeah, there wouldn't be major statutes and 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 huge and amount of donations. He does a pretty good job defending the it. The world would change just to appease a one percent. It would be like, hey, listen, I we're gonna pee. try to do things to help that one percent, but it, it, it it's still <laughs> a minority. I guess when it comes to trans individuals, it almost feels like it's the only minority that feels like a majority and 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 this is where like african americans come in because they're like yeah we're a minority but we never felt like a majority we never felt like people had to and and, and i mean at times there it it was that but it was like we had to stop the world we had to show the the whole yeah. george floyd or whatever the case is like hey listen this is unacceptable while when it comes to like trans individuals it's like everyone's I just X, I, I'm gonna let you go, but I, again, back on my thing, I just think like if you're a kid, bro, you, you don't really remember, but as a kid, you have like a, your brain is like a sponge, right? So, like, I just think like if you're so much more normal, like, or you're learning so much, but like Disney, for example, is pushing like men's and skirts to be walking around. Just let the kids be kids, let them do what they want to do. And if they want to be 18 and do whatever they want to do when they're 18, that's fine. Like, if they're like, <laughs> near, but, but if they're near like 17, they know what they want to do, cool. But my thing is like, if you're a child, bro, like you shouldn't be like going to the doctors and getting like, even, even, even like a considerate, like it should be pushed. Like, oh, let's make you a, uh, okay. change genders. I don't yes. know. It's just what I see. People, the problem. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. That's like, hey, dude, how about we leave this to the doctors? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and say the controversial take here, which is how about we leave these decisions to the medical professionals 
and not mother Aiden Ross, okay? If you find yourself ever agreeing with a dude who does not know how to read and does not know what most normal words are, not like complicated words, but just like regular ass normal words, you really have to reconsider your stance, okay? If Aiden Ross came out and was like, drinking water is good for you, that would make me second guess myself. I would be like, is it actually, or is it poison? I don't know. Aiden Ross seems to think so, so I, I gotta double check. He might accidentally arrive at the correct point on an on a issue, maybe every now and then, but I'd still double check. But what do I know? <laughs> I love the idea. You can be a guy famous for being a dumbass, okay? Just like famous for being objectively a dumb guy that even other dumb guys look at and go, that's a dumb guy. Pretty funny how dumb he is, am I right? And still think that what you have to say on a particular issue has value. Not only value, but actually is probably smarter and more thoughtful than the actual medical professionals. What a beautiful time to be alive. The problem is that both sides, right and left, are putting a megaphone on small stuff. And that's what the real, where the real problem is, okay? But it's a big, and, but it's no, a big problem. It's, it's, okay, it, it's, a, it's a problem. And by doing what you're doing, you're making it a worse problem. And you're, you're causing no healing, you're causing more damage. So that the, that the right wing, right, like, right wing's been doing a lot. They take, like, out of, like, hundreds of thousands of trans people, right? One or two in the entire country had taken, like, uh, um, HRT or whatever. And they will take that one case. One that was, like, crazy. And the person was, like, suffering from, like, major depression because they, they weren't getting what they want. And, it, and, it'll be, and, and they'll take a megaphone. They'll put it on and they'll be like, dude. These people are changing their gender like at like eight and they're gonna die. Like, okay, I'm not saying that, that's, that's one person. You made it a problem. It no. was the problem then. You made it a problem. No, you're no, putting it's a, a megaphone on it. It's a problem now because he's right. He's saying that there are here. Let me let me clarify what XCC is saying if you didn't understand. He's saying that detransitioners are uh, phenomenally rare. Trans people are rare to begin with, statistically. But detransitioners are even rarer. So we're talking about like the 0.1% of the 1%. And hyper-focusing on the 0.1% of the 1%, especially when that 1%, 99% of the time is getting uh, phenomenal medical care by healthcare professionals who have made these decisions for them, that it is ridiculous and you are exacerbating the problem by hyper-focusing on the edge cases. Because it's giving kids ideas of like false shit, like... You see That's now, a great hold on, act. It's, you see Disney, for example. I think Aiden Ross talking about giving kids bad ideas is the funniest moment of this entire program. Here's a guy who is the exact opposite person who should be talking about who's giving kids bad ideas, okay? The notion, the absolute notion that Aiden Ross knows what's best for children is ridiculous. Oh my God, the website that he's promoting right behind him have, has ruined the brains of an entire generation, okay? Straight up, the dude who he dick rides into oblivion, Andrew Tate has destroyed the brains of an entire generation. When do we start watching <laughs> Disney? Three, four, et cetera, right? Disney, for example, push, 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 and act, I mean, and, and you know, my thing is X, like back when I was in school, you know, back when I was in middle school, high school, I would have like transgenders in my class. So that's how you know, and I asked my parents like, yo, mom, pop, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you see? Did you see this in your class? Like, nah. And even my 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 other older siblings, it's the same. So it's like it's becoming more and more normalized to do it as a child rather than waiting till adultery. That's all I'm saying. Like, it's, waiting till you don't wait for things that you feel like. You don't feel, but who? But if I believe in the tooth fairy and superheroes, why would I be allowed to believe something? It's like I have an imaginary mind. It's like wait a little bit. And it, yeah, no, he's right. This is why when someone has child leukemia. Okay, and they go to the doctor, and the doctor's like, you have leukemia, my child. You have leukemia. We must treat you immediately. I like to hear from a third option, from a third guy. Like, I don't know, like a cake streamer. And I'm like, hold on. BRB, doctor, man. Let me go check in with Aiden Ross. Well, he says, I believe in the tooth fairy, and therefore, I can't get this medical treatment. That's how stupid this conversation is. And yet we don't think like trans healthcare is somehow real healthcare across the board. So we've decided collectively that like, yeah, no, these medical decisions should not be kept between the patient, the patient's parents, if the patient is underage, 
and the doctor, but instead these medical decisions should be taken uh, up with the patient, the patient's parents, the doctor, and also Aiden Ross, and maybe some right-wing uh, religious uh, legislators. Your trans propaganda finally got to me and now I want to be trans. I have been in America my whole life and never got good healthcare. Maybe if I transition, I can see this mythical decent healthcare. Just kidding, I'm very much for trans rights and don't believe in right-wing talking points. I really thought this dude was about to say, I'm transitioning to be a subscriber so that I no longer see the top of the hour ad break. And I thought that that would have been fire. I thought that would have been a fire. Here, I fixed it up for you, okay? Instead, you should have said, your propaganda on trans issues has finally got to me. I am now transitioning to be a subscriber by subscribing for $5 a month or for free with a Twitch Prime and no longer seeing the mother break at the top of the hour. This is exactly what the derailing of Roe v. Wade protections was always going to lead to. Let's be real. Yeah, I just, I hate, I absolutely hate this, this conversation so much where it's like, yeah, we need to actually make these medical decisions uh ourselves you know what i mean we got to get the whole village involved okay including the dumbest guy in the village okay what the are you talking about the possibility that children might be having an identity imposed upon them that's lgbtq is valid just as lgbtq say that our heteronormative values impose identities on children overall i agree to have info more normalized but no one should be identifying as anything other than a dependent as a minor what the do you mean by comparing this to a child having leukemia yeah you're right like for example when you're like i'm a boy Someone should come in if you're a, a, a cis boy, right? If you're like 14 and you say, I'm a boy, someone should come and smack the shit out of you to be like, no, you're not. You're nothing, which is ironic because that's like kind of a m extreme case where like some people on the ostensibly on the left will advocate to do like no gender norms whatsoever until you're 18. So love that. Love that for you. Uh, thank you for that take. Thank you for uh, uh, arriving at a position in queer theory that even I don't agree with to a certain degree, because I feel like contextualizing or rather conceptualizing certain aspects of existence is not the worst possible thing. You know what I mean? My man said, you're non-binary until you're 18. Okay. <laughs> After 18, you get to choose. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I have not heard, I had not heard that take. Okay. Chatter understood 0% of that joke. Yeah, because I'm not actually fucking making a joke for him to understand how silly his take was. I'm making a joke for you. Instead, maybe of just going straight to jump to that, maybe we do some therapy, maybe okay. we try to sit down. So you're really telling me that you believe in Santa all the way till you're probably like 14, but people no. are wrong. Hassan's HRT dealer, thank you for the 10 community gift this subs. For thinking that, even, oh, maybe I'm a girl instead. I went there 14 too. When I, was, when I was 14, I was still thinking of crazy shit. I was still like, abnormal stuff i think when you become an adult bro that's when you know the most it just hits you bro like when you're an adult bro you're an adult you still don't know anything so you are living breathing proof that like no even as adults okay even as adults you might not know a lot okay yeah doctors and actual science in general seemingly completely losing all standing in society it looks like we should return to draining bad blood and asking the shaman for shrooms yup so essentially he's wanting he's saying wanting to be trans is crazy shit yeah exactly which is always it's always cool though like i said i, I love i love hearing from aiden ross what kind of medical decisions medical healthcare professionals should be taking uh, with their patients because like i that's the guy who knows better i think even even close to adult, like even like 17 16 maybe like it's different for everybody but bro like it's just yes like, but you're not making permanent decisions on the, what you're feeling when you're young they don't let you do that for most of, for like nine 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 percent of time you're not gonna fuck your life up because you feel those ways or you think those ways they only let you when you're 18. that's not true Brother. Look at, uh, and I'm going to bring it up. Dwayne Wade's child, for example. Uh, I think she's 12 or whatever. And again, that's his own kid. I'm not going to get, I'm just giving you an example of something that's kind of like known out there. There's also many I could pull examples of if I, if I want to do my research. My thing is He's this. Like, I know all the trans people. I know all the trans children. I got a list. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Let me pull up my list of trans children. Okay. I got it. There are many, many examples. Okay. I see it all the time. Bro, it's like wait just wait and, and if you still feel that way all the way to 18 okay be yourself do you and, wait, wait, and be was, that, was that person was that person was that uh Dwayne Wade wait kid. what he's like unironically this is my favorite genre of right-wing sentiment but it's just like a dumb guy sentiment in general but uh usually promoted by the right which is 
stating what currently happens as a new idea while you are against the position. Like it is you're you're defending something, okay? No no trans healthcare whatsoever until you're 18 while simultaneously directly explaining as a suggestion, okay? Hassan, if you're gay, just say it. Well, I did clap your dad's ass cheeks last night, so I guess that makes me a little gay. Makes your dad gay too, though. Being gay, just say it. What are you, 12? What kind of dumbass shit is this? How is this a diss to a 32-year-old whole-ass man, brother? How? You think I have that same sexual anxieties and hang-ups that you have? I'm 32 years old. It is ridiculous. Bro, yes, you're projecting. Of course, I'm watching Aiden Ross, so... Clearly, the fandom is out in droves. People that think like, we we make gay jokes here in this community. That's how f played out it is that like a, a very sizable queer community objectively makes like ironic gay jokes. That's how f past that point we are as a society, I think. Unless you're like literally 16, 17 years old and like kind of worried you might be a little gay you know if this chatter is stuck online you've already won since his dad is the bottom by internet law that's what i mean well his dad bottom for me he was like i'm doing booty boot camp hassan you know what about projecting can you ever experience anything other than your own perspective oh we are stuck in our own selves oh so everything i say or learn do is literally going to be a projection of my own experience wow everything's a projection that nothing is ah what uh let's continue dwayne wade correct so why with them no, no, I'm sure I could find more. I think, I think, uh, no, wait, 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 what happened with them? Like, like, what is the story? You're just saying names. I don't know what happened with them. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you an example of you know, uh, what happened with them, though. Oh, but the thing I was gonna, the thing, uh, before I respond to the troll, the thing I was gonna say is Aiden Ross said right there, Aiden Ross said right there, oh, like, if a, if a, if a kid, feels like they're trans um and then like all the way up until 18 where they still feel like they're trans like then they should get medical care and it's like no they get medical care early on there is a concept called puberty blockers specifically for the thing that he's mentioning which is um which basically puts a pause on your puberty okay and then when you're 18 you can get more medical intervention and be able to consent to it as an adult. So what he's describing, what he's describing in the circumstances, unironically, what currently happens, like what is currently happening, like irreversible medical intervention is hyper rare and only happens and only happens with strict medical scrutiny in general. I'm saying they became trans at a very young age. They became trans and they take HRTs or whatever. I'm not, I, I'm not that, I don't know, but uh, they became- If they're not on HRTs, they can say that they're f that they're Iron Man or Optimus Prime. Trans people exist, why should they wait until they're 18? Trans people exist, why should they wait until they're 18? They're not waiting, they're technically starting the process of medical intervention in the hypothetical that I described to you. That is, that is what happens in the, in the real world. Like, that is a part of, that is a part of the medical intervention. This is, as it stands, the best- possible uh way that that medical intervention works the most successful most reliable way that medical intervention works i am not going to uh i am not going to sit here and act like i know better than the healthcare professionals i don't know why you think that you can make the argument from the other direction on what people that are more knowledgeable than us especially because of the obvious downsides as well there's obvious there are obvious downsides to every medical uh every medical decision being made that's why you see a litany of, of side effects on all the drug, all the pharmaceutical commercials that you see on television, which shouldn't exist to begin with. There should be no pharmaceutical commercials, but that's besides the point. So every single, every single healthcare decision that a patient makes with the advice of their doctor is one that can potentially lead to negative side effects or unforeseen or foreseeable consequences down the line, even if it is statistically not likely. Okay. This is a decision that we make with every, every healthcare decision that we make. Okay. This is a likelihood with every healthcare decision that we make. That's why you weigh the pros against the cons. The reason why I am not going to sit here and be like, I know better than uh, academia that studies this and also the professionals that 
know better than me is because they have weighed the pros and cons. An example I can use with gender, with HRT, with a with a form of HRT is what I take. I take per, uh, I take Propecia, right? Uh, finasteride. Finasteride is a DHT hormone blocker. I take it because when your body produces DHT, a type of a specific type of testosterone, it ends up closing up your hairline, your your uh, follicles on the top of your dome. Okay. Now, there are many side effects to potentially taking Propecia. Luckily, I have not seen those side effects, but there are still side effects, and it's a decision that I made as an adult. It's a conscious decision that I made as an adult after consulting a healthcare professional, okay? And, and nobody thing. gives No, 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 but just look into it. I, I'm into informed. It. I did, well, Chad says that they So you are a doctor, are you? Yes, dude. Every time you take a pill, you're technically a doctor. That's what I meant. That's why I said, oh, that's why I said personally that you should make these medical decisions after consulting a medical professional. They haven't taken HRT, so it doesn't matter. Well, I'm misinformed. I'm, I'm misinformed on that specific individual. So okay. I'm not going to speak so, so, about it. So I asked, you to name, I asked you to give me an example. You gave me a wrong one. So you're saying... Austin, I be, are you trans because you don't have hair? I don't get it. No, dummy. Hormone replacement therapy falls under a broad, it's a broad category. Many people do gender con gender confirming. Uh, many people take gender confirming drugs. This is one aspect of that. Cis, um, cis men, cis women, trans men, trans women, non-binary people, they all sometimes, depending on their age, depending on their circumstances, depending on what they want, will engage in gender-affirming uh, medical decisions. Joe Rogan is a longtime champion of TRT. TRT is technically HRT. Testo testosterone replacement therapy is hormone replacement therapy. Joe Rogan, who is an advocate for TRT, also happens to be uh, responsible for a lot of the anti-trans discourse. But that's how this works. Yeah. Boob jobs, nose jobs, all matter of different uh, reconstructive surgery. It all falls under gender affirmation. I'm a cis woman who takes BC with extra estrogen. One. So you're one of one in the wrong. Just give me no, one it's correct one. It's still wrong, brother. What? When you are, it's still, I, I, I didn't say specifically HRT for that specific one. I never said that. Be, I, I didn't know. I said, I don't know. I'm misinformed on it. All I'm saying is, all, all I'm saying is that person is a child, and I just think that they should wait years and years and years before they really jump down a road they don't, they don't know brother, what they're going into. Brother, when I, when I was young, I thought I could have multiple girlfriends. And for years, I had two girlfriends at a time, sometimes three, right? And, mm -hmm. and is, that, is that a good thing? Well, no, it's not. Um, most people are, 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 are monogamous, right? And I understood with life that, hey, that's not how you're really supposed to do things, right? And then after, after when I grew up, I, just, I stopped doing that. I mean, not really. I, I stopped doing what that. The well, that's not the same thing as what I'm saying. You're not causing permanent damage on yourself, though. Unless you're on like HRTs and your body up and making modifications, you will recover from your thoughts. When I was a kid, I thought I was a doctor. I thought I was a superhero, right? I wore a cape sometimes at school. I wore a cape. Does that mean that when I'm 18, I become, I become brain dead? No, it doesn't do anything. Let, him, let, let people be people. But, but that's what I'm saying, though. Then let them think that they're a girl or whatever for two or three years until they, no, oh, you know no, what? No, Maybe no, I was no. just feeling a certain way and, and then they passed it. I just think it's, it's really, hold, on, I, 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 hold on. I just think it's abnormally getting a little bit weird when we're pushing on our kids, bro. That's all we're I'm not, saying. Nobody's pushing other than them, though. It is. There's, there's agendas being pushed on kids, like, Oh yeah, dude. There's a just being pushed on kid kids. Book, book, book. By the way, book, book, book. On God, we're gonna make it, boys. Like what I'm saying, for sure, a hundred percent. Disney is hundred percent. The doing agenda it. tells them that if they're if they feel if they feel those ways, they're not. <laughs> I think Train put up a photo. Nah, that's just how he is, bro. When he's listening intently, it just it does look like it does look like a static image. <laughs> completely pretty... wrong or to be ostracized and they're not gonna fucking kill themselves it's not like yes it's okay. a little bit over overbearing Ask and i okay. get that it's Ask a little question. bit too much but it's, the, me the mentality what about, isn't what about, wrong what about when a target's kid section had like an lgbtq plus uh... this is my favorite argument yes yeah bro i i saw the i saw a, a, a rainbow bathing suit for a kid 
And immediately I was like, I can't wait to suck a penis, dude. I can't. Me, I'm a kid. I go to Target. I see a rainbow colored. I see rainbow colored uh, short shorts. And I'm like, damn, time to do some gay shit, dude. No, that's not how this works at all. This, that's not how anything works. It's so stupid. It's such a... You have to be the dumbest guy to believe this, okay? I'm sorry. You literally have to be the dumbest guy to believe this or you're gay. That is one of the two, one or the other. You're gay and you don't recognize that you're gay and you kind of like are, are scared about that reality because the reality is many people are gay, okay? I don't know what the exact percentage is. It seems to have uh, diminished on the graph of like people who are uh, 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 coming out as gay in the Gen Z and Gen A uh, or coming out as queer in general, okay? And it's going to be the same exact thing as like left-handed people in society, okay? The problem, however, is, the problem, however, is that like a lot of people in the past, at least, thought that that was like f***ed up or immoral or degenerate or bad or wrong or evil. And therefore, they didn't fully understand it. You don't become gay because you saw gay shit. You just are gay. And then when you see gay shit, you go, oh, that's actually appropriate and acceptable. That's what a lot of people are mad about, okay? That's what a lot of people are mad about, that they have this, like, underlying resentment. That's it. That's the whole reason why, the, that's the big secret, in my opinion. The whole reason why the right wing wants to stop that from being out there is because they don't want anyone to come to that recognition that they are queer. Because they think that being queer is wrong and bad and immoral and going to, uh, I guess, ruin Western civilization or whatever the f That's it. Uh, thing like for the kids section uh you know when you're then a kid don't right? shop there if you don't want to shop there if you don't oh, feel as if you think you don't go hey, there like x you see target is an american thing bro we all shop at target stop yo x yo x stop the cat bro like, come on yo, bro why bro come yo, on bro oh x, x, god I will... he's getting oh god but couldn't it be that schools have been brainwashing children to think they have to be trans to fit in as in by promoting trans ideology no dude i don't think so okay i don't i that's an insane thing to think i uh, apologize for uh, making fun of you but you're out of your mind okay they have to be trans to fit in like what are you talking about what percentage of the population do you think is trans what a gathering of the minds yeah also haven't you been following the scandal of the uk gender clinic and how they've been closed down because they failed children by making them take puberty blockers according to what i heard yeah dude i'm sure what you heard is great adder thinks like at least a majority of children in school are trans to be honest with you man i don't care if you want to think they're airplane they want to think they they man woman kangaroo do your thing exactly right. I, I definitely believe that we got by the way for the record people saying like uh the 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 whole notion that like people will just become trans or like fake being trans just to fit in is exactly the same arguments made about people coming out as gay in the 90s when that was when when being trans was not even like considered really all that much it was way more invisible but like that was the thing that the right wing resisted the most people would just be like i'm gay you know there was media representation for gay people, it was becoming more. Um, it was becoming more of like a like a popular thing. It sounds so funny to talk about it now in 2024 because you're like, what do you mean like gay representation? Like what? You don't even think about it because it is the norm in society. It and it has become the norm in society, and and for that reason, it sounds so crazy. But the arguments are identical. The arguments against trans people are the exact same arguments that were presented against gay people in the 90s, in the 80s, and in the early 2000s as well. I think one big talking point is that children transitioning. My state's healthcare didn't want to integrate trans healthcare until last year, and I had to wait until the late 20s. I had to let, yo, kids can't choose to go in the military, can't drink, can't do a lot of things until they at least turn 18 or maybe 21. Okay. Do you think kids can't get healthcare? because they can't sign up to join the military. Yeah, there's a lot of things that kids can't make decisions on on their own, and yet, obviously, it would be insane to say that they can't do this as well, okay? I feel like there's a little bit of a difference between joining the mother military, even though kids do join ROTC or JRROTC and shit like that, and that probably 
I don't know, shouldn't happen. But <laughs> that doesn't change the reality that like medical intervention does occur with children. Like the idea that like we can't treat children until they get to the age of 18 is so funny to me. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, were you in a car wreck? Well, sorry, you're 16 years old. I can't do medical intervention to save your life. It's so dumb. Yeah, no glasses for you, okay? Sorry, you're 13. Can't give you glasses. Man, don't don't just seep, seep it into shit. Like, you know what I mean? Don't just start putting into the curriculum to, you know, influence them to go away. Seems more of an elective surgery, though, not the same. This is where you're wrong. And I don't know if I can actually get you to understand that you're wrong because this, in my opinion, the way I see it is in no way, shape or form any different than you being like, yeah, I think like medical intervention for children is elective. Like pick whatever medical intervention you think is elective or and, and say that it's elective and then argue vociferously on it. It's the same exact thing. You don't know better than the healthcare professionals. That's the the appropriate healthcare professional. I'm not talking about some random chiropractor, okay? That's the issue. Everything that I've read on it shows that medical intervention in the form of puberty blockers with parental consent and with rigorous, strict uh, medical professional supervision is actually pretty good in saving teenagers' lives, okay? Especially considering the fact that puberty blockers can be, uh, can be given two teenagers for a litany of different issues aside from trans medical care implies that there is definitely utility for it and people do actually engage in this medical intervention on a regular frequency not just for trans people the difference is however you think being trans is just a mindset and is just a choice and that is the major point of contention here that's it i don't believe that hey, because <clears throat> honest with you as a kid everybody's insecure everybody's looking for acceptance everybody sure. just don't really know what's going on okay and they don't it, permit it, you to do the things you're talking about though like, like that's it here's the thing if a kid is suicidal like is experiencing clinical depression okay and a doctor says we have to we have to medicate this person or they're going to kill themselves okay dj academics is like oh kids are just insecure yolo we can't be doing nothing about it. That's insane. That's an insane thing to say, okay? Objectively, especially coming from DJ Academics and Aiden Ross. Can you imagine any other circumstance? Can you imagine any other circumstance where we're just like objectively the dumbest motherfuckers in society are just sitting around being like, we have a say in this process. What we have to say here without any information whatsoever without any reading done whatsoever even if we had done the reading we still would not be as knowledgeable as the people that make these decisions the healthcare professionals obviously okay i just i can't i really can't think of any other circumstance the reason why we have this debate on trans issues however is because it's well it's because of a multitude of different reasons one because we just no longer trust uh you know academic research we no longer trust uh, that, uh, you know, healthcare professionals know more than we do. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like there's a, there's a litany of different uh, reasons as to why we feel like we are confident to have these conversations ourselves and, like, genuinely try to move the needle in one direction or the other. Ugh. You're not causing permanent damage to somebody. They're not on HRTs. Maybe it's just Ohio, but isn't coming out as trans or even gay still, unfortunately, a social negative despite the media push? So who who would do it to be popular? Exactly. In spite of the supposed quote-unquote media push, uh, there is, like, very little trans acceptance in general. Where's your evidence for suicidal tendencies of those kids in academia? You actually bring that onto the table. Also, are you biased towards that? Or are you willing to listen to the other side who disputes the suicidal evidence? Open conversation should be allowed on this. JBP also disputed this. What do you mean? Do you think kids don't have suicidal tendencies? I'm talking about like clinical depression. Do we just automatically assume that like kids can't get unhealthy, can't have a chemical imbalance, can't have like genetic predisposition? What, what's going on here? Like, do we, are we just, are we unironically making the argument now that like we cannot do medical intervention to the children? Like, is that just the entire field, an entire field in medicine 
dedicated specifically to from babies all the way to 18 year olds gone abolish it why because i said so F you that's a psychotic approach to society we are regressing okay his brother they're not fuck they're not doing bodily modifications that they're not allowed to do these things if it's not true if it's just, if it's just a fad or a phase it'll fade away dude it is what it is when i was young i was wearing pink wristbands all the time and i had girls do me little bracelets and you know, Yo, I, I stopped doing no, that. That's, that's, I don't feel that that's way. Different. That's way that's, different. That's, where they're trying to push it is to have kids be on some of these hormones. Give early. me examples. Like, give me statistics. I just, whoa. No, no, no. Wait, wait, give no, me statistics you. and give me examples. No, 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 no. Yo, excuse me. It's not about statistics. It's about trying to stop or reverse like you know um a trend that we're seeing happen they want these kids to try to you know make these decisions before you know um they're really yeah bro children are just like yo doctor time to hit me with that trans beam baby and then the doctor's like all right well the democrat government forced my hand if i don't do this they'll kill me so many faulty premises here okay like a litany of just unimaginably false premises being thrown out in rapid fire succession, okay? One, what are these trends, okay? Being, uh, uh, it, it so let, me, let me try to tackle some of the underlying premises here. One, people are becoming trans because it's uh, popular, it's trendy. Ridiculous. It's not trendy to be trans, okay? And not only that, but you don't just become trans according to all available medical research on the matter. You don't become trans, you are trans. It's the same as being gay. You don't become gay, you are gay, okay? That's number one. Number two, the notion that like children cannot have uh, uh, any kind of, uh, because children are not, make it, are, are not sound of mind and are not adults, that they cannot have a say in any kind of medical intervention is also ridiculous. There are a million different circumstances in which children need medical intervention and doctors and consenting parents make this decision, okay? Alongside with the patient, depending on how old they are. Ridiculous to act like this is a situation where someone's like, I saw SpongeBob and he was acting a little zesty, so I think I'm trans now, okay? And I'm trans because it's very popular. Boop, boop, boop. Let me go over to my doctor's office and tell him I'm trans now. You have to give me HRT. And then the doctor's like, sorry, if I don't shoot you with the f trans gun, then I will be killed by the liberal government. You are living in an entirely different reality if these are the opinions that you have. Okay? To quote you, I can't say what I want to do to people like this, but you can't stop me from thinking it. I mean, yeah. Don't you think that there's a certain age where children's decisions aren't based on solely what they want, an age where it's too early to decide such things? It depends on what the decision is, okay? Children decide things that are not in their best interest all the time. You have to weigh the pros and cons. I don't know why we're having this conversation like doctors are beaming trans lasers at like three-year-olds who just stop saying goo goo gaga. Okay, that's why this is not a decision being made. That's why this is not a decision being made by like a four-year-old on their own and actually a whole ass adult medical professional. That's why there is research on the matter. Uh, of age. Wait, bro, what trend? What statistics? What exam? I'm not seeing what you're seeing. I think you're talking about the, like one person who did something and then the whole right way went to this is killing our kids. This is it's like one guy out of the middle of uh, in like in like Wisconsin or some shit like that it was on drugs and shit like that. That's the major problem here like I said is that this is not like um this is not something that a person, a child or an adult does for fun. You know what I mean? Or to get attention, okay? And that's the way it is always presented as though uh, someone just goes, you say that doctors don't beam translations of babies, but if they're born intersex, sometimes they do. It's funny how the medical abuse of intersex people isn't a concern for these transphobic say the children. Oh yeah, that's the other part of it. Yeah, the only time when like doctors actually do medical intervention and do not leave it up to the patient even at all is unironically when they're like, 
All right, I got to pick and choose here. Seems like this one's going to be a boy. And then they do take life-altering medical intervention, like, immediately. That chill, chill. Nobody's killing anybody. Dude, like, this isn't, a, it's not a problem. It is because you're making it a problem. Okay, my thing is when you, when you said to, don't shop there, when I said Target, where everyone goes, you know, when you're a parent, you want- Yeah, by the way, that, that argument is also silly. Like, the don't shop there argument is also silly because it's like, just, um, like, I mean, X, you could have had a better argument there, which is that, like, when you were a kid, did you see any gay stuff? Yes or no? Okay, if yes, are you gay? No? Okay, well, there you go. It didn't work. And if the argument is yes, you saw gay stuff and you felt gay, then yeah, you're gay. That's it. Hey, can you explain the concept of transness? I know you always say something about gender is the clothes you wear on your skin. Can you please explain that? Don't hate me. I am trying to learn, says Popo Piker. As there isn't gender and sex, like gender is simply an expression. It is a socially defined construct. It is a way that you express yourself. There are biological markers associated with it to a certain degree, but that's but gender in and of itself is a completely socially defined thing. That's why gender norms are very different in every other society. That's why gender norms have been different throughout time. All every everything that you do as your gender expression is performative. Everything. You choose to wear clothes a certain way. That's a performance. My mom introduced me to a gay couple when I was like seven, eight, didn't turn gay. Keckle, I remember being confused why she felt the need to tell me they were gay. Men used to wear powdered ass wigs, put on full face makeup, wear goddamn long ass boots, okay, high heels. Boys used to wear dresses and have long hair. The color assignment of pink and blue was different as well. All of this stuff has changed throughout time, but because of the limitations of human cognition, uh, cognitive capabilities, we oftentimes look at what's right in front of us and what's being beamed into our brain since birth and think this is how it's always been and this is how it always should be. This is a genuine issue with conservatism. The more conservative you are, the more reactionary you are, the more resistance you are to any kind of change and the less open-minded you are to the realities that it was different in the past. And it will be different in the future. It's different right now in different countries. But nobody ever thinks about that. It's just that we lack the imagination or rather the cognitive capability of understanding that like gender in the way that we see it is so f different than gender in the way that like a Korean person sees it. Ridiculousness, utter ridiculousness. Look at these pics from medieval times, even in Europe. Yeah, peach jars is here, speaking of gender. Be able to sit down your child when it's time and explain what certain things are. I just think it's wrong. No, for real. I think it's wrong when school teaches you about politics and uh, 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 sexuality shit. I think it's really wrong. I think your parent, when you're a parent, that's when you sit your child down and that's when you really explain yeah. about life. Yes, do you agree Aiden. with that? Yes, Aiden. Okay. But society so, already does that, that because it's ingrained oh, into the, the, the more traditional way. Society already watching, shows you that. We're currently watching XQC actually put up a pretty strong defense at the behest of, of trans teenagers and, and uh, gender affirmation, gender affirmation uh medical intervention and i was thinking to myself you could never pay me a certain amount of money to open up a clip that has all these people's names and the title but yet here you are listening to it and dissecting it anyway I mean, it's actually it, it is actually remarkable in many ways because one xqc is doing better than i would have expected and is like more open-minded than i would have thought um, and uh yeah, no, it's, it's actually more entertaining than I thought it was. And those okay. things in the more heterosexual way, because you are that, you're not, you're not seeing it, and you don't, you, don't, you don't identify that, but because there's a few examples of non-hetero things. Oh my God, they're putting... You say 20 movies about girls and guys? Oh, whatever. Yeah, you're in the time. One guy kiss another guy. Oh my God, the agenda! Gays! Relax, brother. Rel it's not that big of a... Christ, that's insane. You're I also play the role of XQC uh, translator because uh, he speaks in a, uh, an ancient language called Pepegon. <laughs> so uh, what he's saying here is that seeing homosexual acts on television as a child or as an adult is not going to convince you to become homosexual because you are actually just simply gay or you're not. You're making it a problem. Like, they're not pushing an agenda. Like, Jesus Christ, dude.
So you don't think putting gay kid, LGBTQ in the kids section of Target? You could put in the regular section of Target. Cool. That's fine. The, the, you know, is it though? What would that be fine? Because I feel like if the right wing got mad at that, Aiden would also be mad at that as well. It's just all a matter of like responding to stimuli for this man. Okay, barely a man. So this man just said put gay stuff in a separate section of Target. No, he's he's mad that like well he's not really he's just repeating things that he's heard like a child, uh, because he has a child's brain, but basically. What he is uh, saying is what conservative adults have said who also have childlike brains, but uh, it's really f***ed up that there is a queer pride section at Target uh, that features both adult clothes for pride, but also child's clothes that have like a rainbow on it or something of that nature. Why is this a problem? Because it is the agenda that they are promoting. Who's they? We don't know. But they are promoting an agenda to to make children queer. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Does Aiden Ross get weirded out when he sees Ken and Barbie being sold together? Does he know they? F <laughs> I don't think he knows things. But yeah, this is it. Target becomes latest company to suffer backlash for LGBTQ plus support. Pulls some Pride Month clothing. What's confusing to me is that that's kind of true. Like the same people don't get mad. Like whenever kids are like, "We're gonna play house and we're married." Like yeah, because that's good and normal. Um. And and red blooded Americans do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, a joke I used to always make about like uh, when when Florida had like this uh, no queer stuff in our schools bill. A joke I used to make all the time was like, if they <laughs> you can't be a pregnant uh, teacher either because that means you had sex, and uh, I that's don't like to think about that. that's totally inappropriate for you to be pregnant and also teaching at school at the same time. Because you're going to make all the children think about sex and how babies are made. He, you. I yeah. thought it was eight pregnant people. Yeah. With the adult clothing, you don't think putting it in the kid's section of Target's a little bit yes. twisted? Yes, the way that they're doing it isn't always right. And That's they're stupid. But Thank you. The, the, Why? The, 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 the behavior I mean, he's in wrong on this too, but whatever. Bad. Who cares? Having a pink shirt in the men's section isn't the agenda of Joe that's Biden not, controlling your brain. It's that's not, not. That's not The what way I'm they're saying. doing no, it I isn't right, wear, but the message wear, is correct. No, X, I used to wear the I love boobies bracelets too, the pink ones and you know, the breast cancer awareness, but I used to wear it all the time. Okay, not but if I was dicks, you would be up in arms about it. Hmm? You were wearing I love boobies shit, but if it was I love dicks, you would be all up in arms about it and you would say, kids should be wearing that. How can you even buy this? This isn't correct. But you know you'd be doing this. XUC here made the argument that you also presented as well, mm -hmm. which is that heteronormative uh, markers of sexuality are seen as totally permissible around children. It's only a problem when it's a marker that is outside of uh, heteronormativity. Um, well, no. You know, oh, it's oh just... my. So, yeah, so yeah, by yeah, default, yeah. you're saying yeah. that... Wow, Aiden Ross is so f stupid that he literally got intellectually dicked down by a dude whose most famous debate move is doing the f***ing worm, okay? It's not even a, mean? It's not even a trap that he laid down. He didn't even think that Aiden Ross would not recognize that as a... He, he thought that, like, Aiden Ross would probably see the inconsistency. Instead, Aiden is so f stupid that he literally went... Uh, yeah, no, it's totally fine to wear a shirt that says, I love booze, but it's not fine to wear a shirt that says, I love dick. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you don't know the worm? No, it's a worm. Oh, my God. XQC famously debated uh, and then absolutely destroyed Ethan Klein uh, on uh, on the React Gate conversation oh, that was occurring what? where he How pulled... These two people... He pulled the ultimate move, okay? And I mean it. Like, this is the ultimate debate move. No one has ever actually hit a move so hard in a debate and, and immediately won. would rather watch me full screen cam do the form than watch your, do prime, that. Than watch Bro, your prime content. Do it for a week. Do a week of no reaction content and see how many views you get. Oh, he's crying in the corner. <laughs> he, oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely sure. You can see it in his face, dude. This is a man who's thoroughly, uh, utterly defeated. Like, this is a pure victory. That was pretty good. For the juicers. Shai Halud. I mean, that's content, man. It's, a, it's that, original content, at least. You like it? Yes, what? do that, bro. No, do it. Like that. That's grabbing his dick. Dude, I love wait, it, man. This is the bro. most funny you've had in the yes, past fucking great. four years. It's, it's awesome.
Thank obliterated. You. Everything that everything that uh, Ethan said up until this moment is totally insignificant in the face of the worm. Top tier debate move. No one has ever done it like him. Do a week of no React content. Oh, man. Like, of no. course, it's way different. No, it, How it, is it different? It's as simple as, oh, they're putting a pink thing in like the men's section is that they're encouraging men, right? Who are biologically men who are who are born with penises and have the hormones of men that's a sex they, not a gen that's a sex dependent, dependent on your socialization or how you feel at the moment you could now select your that's kind of sick that that's kind of sick the xuc at least like like even though it's not like fully up to date with the with the best words to use in that circumstance the fact that he like distinguishes between sex and gender i'm impressed pretty f impressive yeah it, it is actually really good i know a lot of people say it but i've literally never thought about children's genitalia as much as these guys in this one conversation Dude, i know it's so f weird it's so weird they spend so much time talking about like like baby dick it's odd bro like you're literally thinking of a child's genitalia shopping yeah. at target right now <clears throat> yeah and you're scared of a color your gender after birth that's what people talk about. We don't care about that. That's a gender, not a sex. Say again. <laughs> they they have no idea. They're like, I've <laughs> never even thought about the thing that you just said. That's awesome. <laughs> that that a gender. You're talking about. You're, you're talking about the, the, I'm a little worried. Fucking... I don't know if XTC is going to be able to explain this concept yeah, well. Biological, like you're born with a dick, right? And then and then and then you want to be a girl, or whatever. Like, what are you talking right about? Right spend more time thinking about my genitals and I'm the one with gender dysphoria. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 100%. Right wingers, depending on like the level of insanity that they're operating on, unironically think about trans shit way more than trans people. Because trans people got a lot of other stuff that occupies their mental space. You know what I mean? Like Hearts of Iron or whatever kind of sex mod that they want to use on Fallout New Vegas. Elden Ring. Or uh, yeah, Elden Trans Ring is another love one. Elden Ring. Um Hyper Pop and who's really popping? Yeah. Lego, trains, you know, various different trains. autistic interests. These are the things that trans people have to think about on a daily basis. So of course, there's not enough space left up there for like whatever the latest happenings is in the trans existence uh, field. I wasn't expecting you to be funny. You just like say everything in the same tone. So I always think you're lecturing me, but that was really funny. Thank you. You're welcome. That's kind of how I, I, that's what I do. Anyway, let's continue. Matt, am I wrong? A gender yeah. is like a social construct. All right, so yeah, all right, we're, we're on two different. Hey, listen, let me tell you this. If if I meet a man and he tell me that him being a man is a social construct, I slap the shit out of him. No, you're a f man, okay? <laughs> DJ Academics, what do you mean you slap the shit out of someone? Shut the up. Like, what, what kind of, first of all, it's just like, you're not tough. Like, what are you talking about? The only thing you're slapping is your meat to the latest Drake album, okay? That's the only f thing you're slapping what the f do you mean you slap the shit out of a man uh can i have a lore check what who the hell is he dj academics yes look like i said i treasure my mental health he's a fellow Rutgers graduate and also a hasanabi fan apparently according to him oh. uh very famous for uh really escalating conflict in the rap game specifically uh uh specifically talking about like uh the I guess criminal components of, of rap music, a uh, bit of a fed in that regard, and uh, yeah, his he he first rose to prominence as uh, in his like war in Chirac coverage. Really not talking a lot about rap right now. No, he's not. He's now he's now more of like a like a, a like a right wing guy a little bit. But Why he I mean he back, even back then he go was to though right wing shit. Are they all just like I just don't, I feel like that's a last ditch effort to hold on to a career. No, but he he was already like very right. Like his his whenever he talked about like rap music and and uh like any kind of like gang activity surrounding rap music, he was already like hitting it from a very right wing angle. Mm. Um, 
But yeah, that's, that's someone who used to watch Aiden Ross back in 2021 when he was somewhat entertaining. I find it very goofy that he's now a right winger who spreads hate towards the LGBTQ when in 2021 he was quite literally playing into the role of acting gay or sus around his friends and music artists. And at that time, he also said he gave money to LGBTQ charities, which I don't know how valid this charity thing is. No, he didn't say he gave money to LGBTQ charities. He said he gave money to the LG charity, famously. LG? He's just Diet Keemstar for the rap game, pretty much, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Anyway. Yeah, all right, we're on two different... Hey, listen, let me tell you this. If, if I meet a man and he tell me that him being a man is a social construct, I slap the shit out of him. No, you're a man. Okay, yo, if God made you with a dick and a balls, you're a man. I don't care. I don't care if what you think about yourself. You need to go deal. I mean, God gave you a dick and a balls, I suspect, and you're barely a man, so I don't know. With that, go to you need to go to Christ or anybody else, Allah, anybody. You got dick and balls, you are a man. There ain't no social construct. Biology tells me what you are. You got a you a woman. You got a dick, you're a man. Again. We could make up these other rules, but that is the ground rules, brother. Like this whole, oh no, it's <coughs> construct. It's like, dog, all right, I'm a penguin. Am I, am I a penguin? No, no. Pe what top five you smoking on, Kendrick? Because my top five is Drake, 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 Drake. If we broke it off, then you know it wasn't painless. If she got a watch, then certified slobber boy, certified sleepy boy. That's oh, a, he, it's I know iconic. He watched that Drake leak at least 20 times. Oh, oh, yeah. No, he was... Maybe in the hundreds. Maybe we're in the hundreds. Yeah, that Drake leak was actually not even a leak for him. Drake actually was sending his dick to DJ Academics directly. That's who he was sending it to. He leaked it. Oh. Real recognize real. I'm not a real... I'm not a bad person. For anyone saying I'm homophobic, I literally am donating percentages of my stream revenue to, um, to um, you know, the LG community. I'm donating to a bunch of other communities. The lesbians and gays. <laughs> Just the lesbians. Bro, I Bro love the that LG community, dude. Chayball. All gay people are getting TVs. Look under your chair right now. You have a TV. Hell yeah. Sorry, that was back. That's when I was back in Texas. God, I was so fat back then. It's crazy. Looking back at it now. That was like right at the peak. That was like uh, when, when it was just opening up after COVID. It was crazy. Anyway, let's continue. What, what X is saying is, so sex is male or female. Right. So, so you're correct, Ak and Aiden. There's male and there's female. Yes, there is. That's there's two sex. genders. Okay? Yes. That's the biological attribute, right? Correct. Male and female, that's sex. Yes. Gender, gender. See, like, the, 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 there's a um, miscommunication and misunderstanding of gender versus sex. Sex is... There we go. My man. My man. A. A. The big ape awoken. Pop off. Female or male? You understand? So when you guys yeah, say there's two, of course there's I understand. Two, when you guys say there's two genders, you're referring to those two sexes, right? Gender is actually a social construct. There right? you go. So how can Tran understand this stuff? I think you guys forget that like Tran Rex is like sure he's like a ultra misogynist for most of his career, but also is like very woke on gay shit. Like he's always, dude. This is a man who's talked about fantasizing about sucking cock on hours on hours on end so like he he understands like he understands that gay shit like nobody's business he's one okay? of us huh yeah mm -hmm. exactly always talking about sucking cock what, what, why that, i'm wrong about this i was wrong about behaviors that. and certain things of certain different right like so when you say Wait is there two genders what you mean are there two sexes yes there's two sexes there's male and there's female Guys, you understand? Guys. So, like, you're both arguing two different things. That's academics. Stop, stop. Academics. Have you ever gone to a gender reveal party? We don't call it a sex reveal party. You call it a gender reveal yo, party. Yo, yo. owned. Dude, that's right, baby. Yup. Dude, that's that's it. That's It's destroyed. Left wing destroyed. God, he's so brilliant. This is why, <laughs> this is why I love right wing thoughts and right wing opinions. Because everyone will always be like, uh, why don't you find a smarter interlocutor to debate against? And why did you bring this dumbass on board to present right wing ideas? And it's like, it's because the dumbest person can still absolutely channel the essence of right wing sentiment. And the arguments don't get better. Okay. It's the same argument. That's it. That literally is always the same. That's why back in the day. 
when I used to uh, debate people in my Discord all the time, which is a big mistake. I used to do this shit all the time. And one thing I very quickly found out is that like people would always want to debate me. I'd bring them on. Well, I would that's like the opposite of therapy. Yeah, I would exactly. It was awful. Uh, I would debate them. I would, you know, humiliate them. And then other people in the chat would be like, no, 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 that guy was too dumb. Like, no, no, debate me instead. I got way smarter opinions. And then I would just keep doing the same thing over and over again because the talking points don't change. They're just regurgitating the same eight different talking points over and over again. There's no like critical thinking beyond that at all. So every single time I would bring another person up, I would debate them, humiliate them. And then another person would be like, no, 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 that guy was dumb. Debate me instead. Only until they were on uh, the Discord server getting on in a similar capacity. That's it. I think you should de debate me instead. What do you want to debate on? Um, I would debate you on the efficacy of avoiding the top of the hour ad break, which uh, comes at the top of every hour. If you no mm. longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. What do you think about this? I think gay people are okay. Absolutely not. Guys, I just got absolutely f Oh. There it, there it is. <laughs> Gay people are okay. Wrong. They are not okay. My counterpoint is Austin Show exists. All I right. See, I saw your uh, TikTok the other day of you reacting to uh, Will and Austin having fun little girl time in the bathtub. That was fucked up what he did to me. Okay. It's fucked up what he did to me. Messed up. All right, here's the three oh minute God, ad break thank now. Thank you for the gifted subs. This isn't my channel, but King I Harry, thank you for the twenty gifted and anti materia. Thank you for the ten gifted, allowing thirty people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. Yo, That's why yo, it's called it's a social it's construct. They right, they right, no, he capping because put it like this: if you meet some of these grown ass niggas who think they females, if you ask them what sex they are, they're not gonna say they're actually male. They're gonna say they're a female. They okay. want to. Identify on all the, the, four, vegan, on all, the no, on all the government forms. On all the government forms you filled out. Does it not say sex? M Bro, slash we F. Fill my they government do. forms. So, yo, respectfully, fill my government form. Yo, we're talking about like I completely get your argument, and you're right. right. But the people we're talking about, they want to be able to pick not only gender but sex. They're X. picking. Nah, that's gender. not. That doesn't seem right. Hmm. Have you met someone so that funny. is? A that's. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, dude. That's why trans people say they're trans people. That's like there's a there's a difference between being trans and being cis. The difference is like marginal. It's not that significant overall. Because if you're a trans woman, you're still a woman. If you're a trans man, you're still a man. But like the notion that like no, you don't understand. Actually, let me tell you the trans understander. Trans people are actually trying to change their sex. What the f are you talking about? You are just so oblivious am i just stupid or is he just really hard to follow i mean i think he's maybe it's because i'm so brain broken that like no i think i'm brain broken because i can't even listen to somebody say no you're sentences. normal you shouldn't you shouldn't be able to follow their train of thought because it's like really dumb the only reason why i can and many in this community can is because we've heard it a million times over so we know exactly what like uh logical traps there are in this uh in this conversation and we know how to follow the talking points because we've heard it a million gorillion times over let's go guys i'm normal can't speak for mm -hmm. the rest of y'all but i'm good i'm straight i let, let, let i gotta be clear because i know i'm still on twitch uh trans and if you you do you think they identify like oh i'm actually a male sex wise but i consider myself as a woman they don't they call themselves a woman and a female that's a that's fact why are you acting yes. like they still uh, consider the, themselves the male. They, still, no, they, they still mean the gender, though. Like, and if they don't, they're wrong. But that doesn't. That doesn't. Why do you feel so so uh, enraged and and compelled to to write them? That's the God trans women always calling themselves females. That's what I. That's what I see all the time. Bro, it's just so crazy. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> DJ Academic saw a Liv Agar tweet and was like, <laughs> I miss her. <laughs> He saw a tweet. He saw a tweet from Liv posting. He was like, "Wait a minute, what? <laughs> this this trans woman is calling herself a female. What's that about? Government's fucking thing to do that. If they if they misrepresent, if they misrepresent themselves on a government form, they're now wrong. That's 
fucking illegal. Hold on, hold on, if they say on, sex and they, they, they miss it themselves, that's actually oh. wrong. Why do you feel like you have to go, no, you are this, you are that. No, yo, no, yo, 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 chill the f out. Them. Chill out. I correct them. I don't feel compelled to correct them. I'm just showing the fallacy in what you just tried to explain. Not a fallacy. And you don't know, well, maybe not you, but the train wreck said, well, you know what? You guys are right. Sex, there's only two sexes, but you could have multiple genders because that's a social construct. I'm telling you that usually if someone, and by the way, I'm not even passionate about this, truth right. be told. Right, but, right, but right, like, right. Yeah, he's just, he's just yapping. <laughs> I don't even care. But like, also, I'm going to say some heinous shit. And it's also totally uneducated. But honestly, it doesn't really matter either because that's how this is. That's how this works. You don't have to know anything about the issue. You just need to present yourself as having strongly held convictions, devoid of facts. And, and maybe even you don't even have to even care about it. You could just present yourself as, uh, as though you do care. And then that's it. We'll yap for hours on it. Well, usually if someone say someone was born, right? A female that was born with a pussy, right? If they want to, now identify as a man they're not gonna then tell people i am a female by sex but i am a man by gender because they're no. because they're they acting in a social say, way with I other social beings using a female, social right. construct to f communicate they're using yeah. a social construct to communicate not some biological f workers holy f how hard is it to understand it what, what the, the fuck? fuck? Listen, Yo, I, I'm going by your own metrics, though. Your own metrics said that one of them was biological, right? And then the other, so one is biological, and then the other is actually social construct, right? So you said male or female, biological, right? I never thought I would see the day where XQC is, like, doing a really good job of defending like trans existence and like trying to explain it to just the absolute dumbest people. <laughs> They're just regurgitate, regurgitating the same points. And, uh, well, be, yeah, it's just like devoid of facts. It's just like how he's <sighs> saying, like, if a trans person is around me, I'm going to say this or do this. No trans people want to be around you by choice. <laughs> it is not going to be by choice. He doesn't got to worry about trans people being around him. Very humble of you not to take the smallest amount of credit. I'm not taking any credit in this. This is ridiculous. Uh, you're you're ridiculous for saying I should take credit for this. Yes. XQC uh, is is genuinely interest interested in this stuff on his own. Okay, who's to say that he got uh, any of these ideas from me? He could have gotten it from other people that he watches as well. Um, uh, a <laughs> uh, 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 man or woman or whatever is more of a social construct. And, um, I'm telling you that those people that who identify as such. They don't make that distinction. They're not going to be like, I'm a male that w that identifies as a woman. They usually say, I am a female. Wait, so I have a question. Yo, 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 yo. It's wait, insane wait, wait. that you guys are so mad about, about some some girl wait. or some guy saying it. Some guy I, saying it. Oh, I'm a girl. Care. Then Tony saying, I'm a god. It's like, in, <laughs> you guys are so selective no, in your outrage. It's insane. I only care You're about nuts. kids, bro. Leave the kids. Uh, he left. I only care about leaving the kids out of it, bro. I just got mad about the Target shit, and I get mad about, you know, TR, like, having puberty block kids. Target. That's all That's all I get mad about. Yeah, he's mad about Target. He's is saying that he thinks that Target should have never had a, a pride section that featured uh, children's clothes. That's it. I'm sure he would never think about this ever if it wasn't for that. Except until the next thing that, like, right-wingers talk about nonstop that he wants to chirp about. <laughs> that doesn't happen. Yeah, Uzi the Goat selling MB merch at Coachella. That was the other thing that was, like, very interesting. Because Lil Uzi Vert is someone who has collaborated with Aiden Ross. Aiden Ross loves dick-riding every celebrity into oblivion. And, like, he loves Lil Uzi Vert. And Lil Uzi Vert is non-binary, so... Maybe maybe they should have a conversation with Aiden. It happened though. It's it's yeah, like X, it does. It, it does. Some parents allow. I said I said, I said give me statistics. I said huh? give me examples. What did he give me articles. What? You have I'll given you me. What? You said give me statistics. Give me examples. Give me articles about why you're what. Oh my god, you're like actually translating. What? Yeah, this Holy is fuck. yeah he, 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 about why. Um, what do you call it? About why you think this is like such a big problem? Nothing. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what because I'm not informed. I don't really spend all my time doing this. Just he's also he's also bringing up the point that it's like, why are you so f 
butt hurt. Why are you bent out of shape if you don't have any information whatsoever? Like you don't even have, you have these firmly held convictions about an issue that one, um, has nothing to do with you altogether. And two, you don't even have any sort of factual basis to feel some type of way about it. Just give me one then. I, I'll find some. If I really take time to Google it, I can. I saw a number saying 17,000, but I want to look into it before I really use it as evidence. So you're but pushing here. a narrative? But yeah, Aiden Ross should have just played this and been like, yeah. this is why yeah. I care. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's finish this and then we'll do welcome to our house. Finish this? There's an hour left. No, 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 we're not going to finish the whole thing. I think oh this is like where the conversation pretty much ends, but... It's okay, I'm learning. Um, I just wanted to finish it because I think this is a good YouTube video to cut out of it. Sorry to bring you into this. No, it's okay. No, 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 no. I'm but... I'm learning right now. But then we're gonna do banana peels. You haven't even like but asked me like, nothing, how my no backing day was, though. How was your day? I won Master Baker. Wait, I thought you were like uh Well, I like got first place today. Tomorrow's the finals. You're like there. Wait, what do you remember that you're supposed to do that? Yeah, I know. I'm I'm one of the judges. Yeah. Wait, you're a contestant? Yeah. Who else is a contestant? Uh Sam. Oh, it's just you versus her? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. What? I think I already know who's gonna win. What? I got first the last two days. She hasn't even gotten first once. Yeah, it's about to be the first. My brother David. in Christ, I can just leave this stream, you know that? <laughs> like, I have free will. <laughs> Why are you giggling and kicking your feet right now? <laughs> She's... What do you mean? Spoiler alert. Spoiler you alert. You're about to watched... lose. You haven't even watched Master Baker, bro. And I am the Master Baker. Okay, let's... We're, we'll talk about this in a second. Let me finish this, please. No and knowledge, yes, no statistics, yes, can... and no right, examples. Right, right. But... XQC, if you don't think there's ever been a minor that's taken puberty blockers, it's... it's a okay, no, it's and you were mad about the tattoos earlier. How many minors get, get tattoos? I don't agree with that though. I don't. I think my okay. should just fish not drink oh, yeah. any type of tattoos. Any you don't seem to be very vocal about that though. though. I just said that I don't agree with that. I don't agree with any permanent damage with minors. I think when you're 18 and 21, that's when you start drinking and smoking weed and doing permanent bit damage to your body. I, 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 you know, I don't think that you'd get into those things at a young age. I, I, I don't know. That is a good summary. But the man with half the facts and heated debate with man with zero facts, absolutely. Destroyed Aiden Ross. The man with half the facts destroyed here. Cleared. Props. Big props to XCC. Okay. Well, but, 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 like, like I'm telling you, these things are, are not happening at a rate or at a density, which it's a problem. But it happens. These are outliers that, that are problematic. Will. It's growing. It's growing, though. It's how, is it, how is it growing? The fact that Target is even allowing an LGBTQ section in the kids section is crazy. Some kid isn't going. That is so irrelevant to. Even the puberty blockers conversation. That's like, what are you saying, dude? So if Target removed everything, what would they argue about then? That's they will find another thing to argue about. No, which they impossible. did. They literally did do that. They uh, famously got one can by Dylan Mulvaney, uh, the trans content creator TikToker. No, no, I literally heard if you drink Bud Light, it turns you trans. Yeah, like they they very quickly moved away from Target uh, when Bud Light uh, made the mistake, I guess, of of making one singular can with uh, trans TikToker Dylan Mulaney's face on it. Love her. And then they were like, it's over. Oh my God, Bud Light. Like we have to fucking, we have to do everything we can to stop this madness. Going in there and his life is transformed. And now he's like a fairy dust because he saw some rainbow, dude. Holy not shit. The point. That's not the point. You're my not, kid saw a rainbow. He's now a fairy. Like Christ, dude. That's not what I'm saying. I I'm not saying that. I'm really not. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is just, I'm cool with whatever. I get what you're saying, by the way. He's what? not cool with whatever. Nope. I don't think so. No. How, how you're talking about sex and gender. I do get that take, what you're saying. But what I'm saying is what I agree with Axe saying too. Like if you are biologically born as a female and you transition to a male, you're still transitioning to a male. But I'm going to leave that topic because you guys had it. I don't really care. I don't really give a yeah, You guys got mad. I think you guys got enraged and pressed over that. I don't care. I'm not pressed about the kids. X. I only care about the, you know, the kids. I only care about. Bro, Aiden, once again, I'm going to reiterate this position that I started off this conversation with, but I, it has to be said once again, Aiden Ross has single-handedly caused permanent damage to an entire generation of children. The fact that he's over here talking about like, the fact that he's over here talking about like, oh, I care about kids is insane to me. Okay. Whether it be crippling gambling addiction, like a lifelong, uh, <laughs> Uh, a, a life of, of potentially having gambling addiction or any number of different awful behaviors that he has promoted to children. He is him and Andrew Tate are literally so much worse than any number of, of different things that are 
that are actually harmful to children. You know what I mean? Obviously, kids seeing like queer representation in media is not harmful to children at all. It's actually quite the opposite, but you know, I it's agree. weird to it's weird to hear the guy who like showed porn to his child audience turn around and be like, I whoa, I think whoa, whoa, children whoa. are Was it straight porn? Yeah, it was. Oh, okay, then we're fine. Yeah, that's good, right? Yeah, You're right. No, we're all good. You know, children. I think just children should be left out of any agenda. Any agenda, really. Um, out of all issues with kids, right? There's a lot of pressing matter. Yeah, here here is uh, Aiden Ross's effect on children. A viewer on Aiden Ross's stream decided to drive their car into a lake and got arrested shortly after. <laughs> Let's go, full side. Let's go. Bro. Oh my god, that bitch yeah, that like Should I go in the water? Aiden Ross also told uh his fans uh in one of these other like uh making my fans dance like little monkeys uh challenges that he does uh to throw piss on their brother like just piss in a bottle and just like chuck it at their brother or sister uh it got it got so it got so out of control that uh there was a point i remember because i was uh, weirdly i guess involved in it without my uh knowledge it's one of those situations where i like i'm glad that i don't really see any of this shit and the 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 accidental instances where i do see uh, this is my this accidental shit. instance. I'm just like, uh, I don't like it. It's fine. With children and education and yeah, young age right. stuff. And the, yeah. the how vocal people are about the actual problems compared to this is at a smaller proportion and it's ridiculous. If you actually care about the kids, you would, you would care about all the other shit that's way more well, pressing, way of bigger. Of what course that's I do lives forever than this I'm shit saying, this shit is like a grain that's... of salt in the beach and you're making a big song and dance for this one thing when people are dying it's insane it's it's x, like ridiculous x do you notice when you debate something what you do what you do is you like to throw in other things like kanye is a god or whatever no x, i'm saying i'm saying no kid I, i'm bringing up the tattoos no yeah, kids are doing tattoos sad. no kids are to do this that anything i'm just saying on this specific topic because it's brought up and we're speaking about it kids should not be walking into a target and seeing a game understood section. it understood it didn't. that's the, all i'm saying the, the same way you're right yeah. the same way the same way it should okay, be okay the rest of this conversation is stupid and i'm going to a whole ass trophy on the ground yeah i love this hat all right um good stuff from xq overall